Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com. This is John Schmook from Full Tilt Ski Boots. And this is kind of a, a little overview of the 2021 free ride lineup. John, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing, Guff? You know, it's a good, it's a good day. It's another good it's, day, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's always a good day when you get to see new product that's about to launch uh, for for the next for the next season. And uh, full tilt is you know back at it with some heavy hitting free ride stuff. Uh, we have we have five bindings that we want to showcase for you: three men, two women. We have the the first chair or the classic, the descended, uh, the soul sister, and then the plush. Um, Full Tilt has basically two different categories of ski boots. We have the freestyle, and we have the free ride, and these are the free ride. Exactly, yes. Yeah. What, what makes these boots free ride instead of freestyle boots? Um, well, in the free ride boots, in that category, uh, we have a little bit stiffer flex in them. Okay. So it's going to get more of that power transmitted down into the ski, so we have a more powerful skier mm -hmm. um, for higher speeds and stuff, of course. Right. Um, and then, of course, uh, the other thing is that um, most of them have, uh, the, we have a nice wider buckle on them. We have an improved uh liner in the new first chairs mm -hmm. um, and then we have the 102 last that is built into these also so you have the free ride boot with the 102 last cool. we have in there um, so that kind of what makes them more free ride is that type of construction got it now a uh, full full tilt kind of stands up especially on the shelves in the shops and online uh, because of the aesthetic now why does the tongue look this way and kind of what really stands out in comparison to to other brands that make ski boots well this brand has it's been around for a while it used to have a different name yep. um the guy that developed it worked for nasa cool. uh, when nasa first came out and he worked with all the articulating joints and stuff mm -hmm. so when they had to build the suits they had to build the suits so the the shape would stay the same uh, kind of like a, a straw that has that little flex piece in it you bend sure. that it stays the same shape but you sure. can flex it um, so that was his concept behind it, and so so that's why he made a corrugated tongue. Yeah. Um, that's why he made a lower flex point on it. So sure. when you flex these boots, they keep the same shape. You're not deforming the boot or anything like that when you're flexing it forward. Got it. Um, so it, it just gives a, a better feel to the boot, um, mm -hmm. better snow and ski feel to the boot, mm -hmm. um, and it it just you know has a nice. Uh, performance features built into the boot cool. and then we put stiffer tongues on these so all the tongues on these boots can be replaced with a softer flexing okay. or okay. a stiffer tongue if you oh, want right. to if you want to do that so mm -hmm. uh, the tongue will come off and you can put a stiffer one on there if you wanted to have something that was stiffer um, and more performance we have some that are 99 last underneath the foot so that's how wide they are um, yeah, that's how the tongue opens up. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really easy to change out. You just pop these off. You can put a new tongue on there. Right. Uh, like I said, the corrugated tongue gives it that flex that you want out of it. Cool. Um, we have the wraparound intuition liner, which is very lightweight, uh, very warm, heat moldable. Um, and actually, the shell is a TPU material. The shell is heat moldable also on oh, all of our is. boots. That's nice. So if you have, if their shop that you go to has an oven, they can put that in there and they can mold that to whatever size they want. But it's easy to get into. And what sells these, I think, a lot is um, is that nice progressive flex out for mm -hmm. skiing. Um, but we sell a lot of them to people that want to just have ease of entry also. Yeah. And it makes it when you can open it up, move that tongue out of the way, and mm -hmm. it's the ease of entry is amazing. Yeah. Um, and especially when you have like a tongue on it too, it even opens it up more. Got it. Uh, so it's easy to get in, easy to get out. Mm -hmm. You still have the performance you want out of it. Cool. Now, uh, starting out with like the, the first the, the first chair and as we kind of walk up through the line, what are the major differences between the first chair, the classic, and the descendant within that free ride category? Well, the first chair, um, we do have the replaceable outsoles on them. So, okay. Um, and this year we are putting grip walk soles on them. So cool. if you don't have a grip walk, compatible binding mm. uh, you can still get the flat you're one. blowing it <laughs> yeah but the grip walk where it's it's really easy it has a rocker but it's much easier to walk in and people okay. really talk about that um, the first chair we also uh, changed the liner on these this year okay um, so it has a more performance liner in it so sure. the the 100 the 120 has a much more performance tongue liner in it 
uh, than what we even had in it last year. So a huge upgrade. Um, so this has a stiffer feel to it, um, a stiffer flex to the boot. Um, it's our 100 uh, flex on the boot that we have on that one. Cool. Um, and it just has a great look to it. And this is our 99 millimeter last, which most customers who want to buy into a higher performance boot, they want that little bit more narrow boot out there so you have Good. more response, uh, better foot steering, better control over the ski when you're going 40, 50 miles an hour. On cruising. Ski. Cruising, baby, cruising. cruising. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, so that's the first chair. Uh, you know, it has those features built into it. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, that whole new tongue uh, liner and stuff is, is all new and stuff. They, so they did a lot of stuff to develop that. The classic, um, this is probably a more traditional type of full tilt boot that we have out okay. there. Still, it doesn't, uh, has the more traditional outsole on it. Great. Um, but we have the wraparound liner on there, which is full intuition. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a great ski and ski. And a lot of people like the classic just because it has that more traditional fit and feel to it uh, than what uh, than, uh, yeah, maybe some of the other boots have on it. So this has always been a good seller for us also. Mm -hmm. uh, and those two particular ones. When you get to the Descendant, uh, the difference in this one is this is a 102 last where this is, a, so this is wider. And it says, it says wide right on the boot. So you Does it say wide? It says wide right on the boot. Wide. So. <laughs> Comf comfort fit. Well, uh, people that have a bigger foot, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I like to go into the 102 last okay. um, over a 99 last. Sure. Um, but it still has the same type of tongue feature built into it. A mm -hmm. lot of adjustments on it. Okay. Um, has the wraparound liner. Um, we have, and these are all models. So in this model, we have three different boots in this line and descendants. Okay. okay. Um, we have three different ones in the first chair. Uh, the mm -hmm. classic, we don't have any. This is just the classic. Okay. Uh, so there's, there's three different boots. So you can get the tongue liner or you can get the wraparound liner, uh, whatever you want to get in the, 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 the descendant boot. Cool. Um, but they're just comfortable to put on, uh, work great and great performance out of the boot. Yeah, it looks nice too. It has and like easy a, to get into. Easy to get into and like gigantic levers on the Descendant too. Big nice levers so it's easy to use. Right. Great progressive flex in it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's easy to flex. Cool, uh, Walk, great walking sole. Walking sole on it. Wow. So it has all those nice features built into it. Right. It's a great boot. Yeah, so yeah, 102, uh, 102 underfoot or 102 last. Last in it, yes. Um, a little bit bigger volume, but it still has a little stiffer flex, wrap liner. That's a nice, that's a really nice combination and, of tack. And just like all the full tilt boots, mm -hmm. you can change the tongue on it to get a stiffer tongue up to a uh, stiffness of 12, or you Ooh. can put like a four on there, which is softer wow. flexing. Mm -hmm. So for that person that wants something that's softer or stiffer, you have choices. You can make those changes on the boot in two minutes. That's awesome. Now, do uh, the separate uh, tongues that are sold separately, uh, do they have color options as well, or are they just all black? They're all black, yeah. They okay. don't have t color options in those. Um, okay. You can spray paint them. But we can, yeah. Customize put stickers your, on them. You can customize yeah, you them. You can put do stickers on them. Whatever you want to yeah. do. Um, they just don't do that just because it's, you know, it would be hard to do that. <laughs> to, yeah. to make those changes and stuff. And so we make a lot of different tongues and stuff, but. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to cut. You can customize this boot so easily. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, you know, this is all this is all adjustable, so you can adjust the, this on it. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the right fit, you have you can adjust it up here. You move the cable up there. Okay. Um, it just has a lot of nice features built into it, and that's with all the boots. And then we put these wider buckles on them, so they're easy to use and more durable and stuff out there. So. All right. Now, well, out of the first chair, the classic. Pro and the Descendant. Which one do you find yourself skiing the most? This one because you're wider foot? Um, well, I haven't been skiing this one because, you know, they're heat moldable. The shell is. Right. So right. Yeah. I, and I kind of always drift towards the first chair because I, I'm a more directional uh, skier and I just like, I've always liked that boot more. Cool. Um, the Descendant, I fit into it right away. So I've skied the Descendant already and stuff. Right. Um, but for me, I kind of customized that one for my foot size and stuff. Cool. I mold it up and everything, and cool. And uh, and I love I love the more stiffness on it. Got Even it. though I can get a stiffer boot in here, so it's okay. I like them all. Cool. Yay! Hey, that's, that's good. <laughs> you know, they're all fun to ski on and stuff. And <laughs> Can't go wrong. I, I get new boots every year, so I don't. You know, yeah. It's hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, then we have uh, two, two women specific models. We have uh, the Soul Sister 90, and then we also have the Plush. Uh, yes. What are the big differences here? They both look like they're tongue style liners. Um, well, this is an, another here? family. We have two in this family, and okay. we have two in this family. Sure. So uh, we have one of them has the tongue liner, and one has the wraparound liner. Okay. So you, you can get this with the tongue liner or the wraparound. Oh, within the same. And the same with that one. Got it. On the plush. Mm. Um, the biggest difference between these two, this is a 99 millimeter last okay. underneath the foot, and then this is a 102 last. Sure. Um, Bigger volume, smaller volume. Right, exactly. Yeah. So if you have a little bit wider foot, uh, mm. And I know this sells really well because there seems to be a lot of people out there with wider feet. The mm -hmm. plush sells really well for us uh, right. to those customers and stuff. And mm -hmm. it has nice fur around yeah, it. Yeah, the plush It's very top. comfortable. And uh, it's just, and you know, with the tongue liner in there, I, a lot of people like that because it really opens up for uh, maybe women that want to have something that's easier to get into and stuff. That makes it really easy. But Cool. Every woman that every woman that buys these boots, they just tell me they love them, and they'll never go back to a more traditional boot anymore because it's just so comfortable on their wow. foot. And wow. the heat mold, you know, heat mold it to their foot, so it molds right to their foot. And mm. It doesn't get any better than that. So these yeah. have been both very popular out there. I would say the plush has probably been more popular than okay. what uh, the Soul Sister has been, um, but. And then we do specific things for women's feet. It's a lasso to a woman's foot. Um, we have a split in the back. So, you know, like we split this in the back so it has mm. more space back there. They okay. have a longer calf. Sure. Uh, so it's gonna fit them better. We have them a little bit lower cut so it fits mm -hmm. them better. Mm -hmm. um, so all those type of features too that that more for a specific woman's foot out there, so it's gonna fit them better. Cool, it's a really nice lineup, you know, from, from the first chair to the classic into the wider descent and even into the women's soul sister in the, in the plush. Like, lots of great boots, lots of different options. You can find one that's gonna be perfect for your free riding style. Exactly, yes. So it's, wow. it's, the choices are out there and stuff, and, mm -hmm. and then you can customize it. You can get new tongues for those and get a stiffer one or a softer one, right. whatever you feel you wanna have. Cool. It's oh, nice. A lot of nice options from yeah, Full absolutely. Tilt for, uh, for next season 2021. Uh, John, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. It's Thank always fun. It is, you know? <laughs> it is, again, it is sure nice like uh, uh, getting to see some of the new product that comes out. So make sure to check out this stuff when it drops next fall at thehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you guys on snow. Peace.